Hey, so this is just a quick drag and drop example. Um, and technically this would go really early in the class with the first week. Um, but I was working on some other stuff and realized that I hadn't made this up. So I just went ahead and spent the time to, to quickly just put this together. But what we have starting off is we have like a, a list widget over here. Um, has some icons. These are icons that uh, I'm making for a, a example a UI later. But I just repurposed them for this. Um, but what we can do, this this one is set to be draggable, so you can pull a icon away, um, and it'll actually pull whatever this icon is with it. Um, you, know, you can change it to be whatever you want, um, and there's a example later on in the class I'm going to do that does that, but the, the main purpose of this is that you can drag from here to here. This one I have built to where it's only except drops. You can't really drag from it, but you can just drag an infinite amount of times. Technically I could set this up to where it was moving it to where this could only go over or you could move it back and forth but for my purposes I just wanted to show how you can uh, limit some of these things. Um, this line edit also accepts drops but it just takes the name because uh, the image doesn't necessarily make sense. Uh, that test that it's pointing is just because I was verifying some stuff in debug earlier. Um, but it'll just change the the name to whatever, and you could concatenate onto it, or but it's, I just chose to reset it. Um, and the last one is these buttons. You wouldn't normally think of buttons as something that you would drop onto, but there are some aspects you can change. And technically, a drop can be anything. Um, you could drop something on it, it can change the profile of it. You could you could drag and drop style sheets or do it however you wanted, depending on what the information is, because you have complete control. Um, what I chose to do was drag and drop the icon, um, so whatever you drag onto it becomes the icon for that object, because it knows all that information. Um, and again, just a, a simple way of just sort of seeing how this works and manipulating it, um, and there's a lot of things you can do outside of this, um, but this is just sort of to get the mind working.